Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to keep you updated as to what Microsoft is working on in the Edge web browser for desktop when it comes to new features that they are now testing and that are showing up in the Edge Canary browser, which is a preview version of Edge and currently is sitting on version 117. Now, the first is regarding a redesign of the password manager. And currently in the stable version, if we head to our profile and we click on open passwords, which takes us to the password manager, this is what the password manager page looks like now uh, in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. Now, this could be set to change. And although it is still early days in Edge Canary, as mentioned, um, Microsoft now has um, made a redesign of the password manager on the wallet page available behind an experimental flag. And to enable the flag, as always, we head up to our address bar and we enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in this search, the easiest to bring up the relevant flag is just to type in password. There we go. And here's the flag. Edge password manager v2. The description reads, enable the new password manager design in wallet. We change that from default to enabled and then we'll have to restart Edge Canary as always to apply that flag. Now, if we head over to our profile once again and we click on open passwords in wallet, here you'll see a redesign of that page which looks a lot more simpler and minimalistic so to speak. And as we can see, passwords still don't show up in this new design. So obviously it's still very early days and the feature isn't working as expected as yet because, and that is quite common with brand new features. And if we head to our three dotted menu, nothing happens. So we don't know what Microsoft is actually going to add to the ellipsis, the three dotted menu. And we can add a password manually. And this takes us directly over to the settings page. So that's the um, new redesigned password manager page. And um, that's part of the wallet feature now being tested in Edge Canary 117, which gives us a good idea as more or less what to expect if Microsoft does start testing this feature officially and making it available in the stable version in up and coming version upgrades. Now, moving on to the next, and this is two small yet subtle changes for Bing Chat in the side panel. Now, the first is if we just head there and we just ask Bing Chat a question, hi, just to generate a response, just to demonstrate for this video, and that'll take a second or two to respond. Here you'll see in the different options available for exporting. We now can export to Word Online, where previously we only had Word, PDF, and text, and now we can export to Word Online, which I think is a nice handy option because as an example, I use Word Online. I don't use the actual Word app. I just use Word Online. So this is a nice handy addition. And then the next, which I haven't received yet, is yet to the right-hand side of the share options. Uh, there is a new share button in the Bing Chat pane, which I'm not seeing. So it will appear around about there to the right-hand side of the export arrow and export options. So obviously, um, it's still early days and according to reports, it's, it's, it's still a dead feature. It does nothing, but that will obviously give you share options to share your chat to other platforms. And then the third and final uh, new change that Microsoft is testing, which I think would be basically the key highlight of these new changes, that in Edge Canary, there is a new option to export browsing data. Now, as mentioned, it's still early days and this is on a controlled rollout and I haven't received the feature yet. But to give us a general idea, if we just head over to some screenshots provided by Leo over on X, this will give us a general idea. So here we can see in the History Hub three-dotted menu, there is now a export browsing data option available. And if you click on that, obviously, it'll give you the option to export your browsing data as a .csv file. And then you will be able to obviously import that at a later stage from that .csv file. And you can then re-import your browsing data, which may be a handy option. And then over and above being displayed export browsing data in the actual history hub, uh, if you click on the open history page and go to the actual history page, you can also see it will be available 
to be able to export your browsing data as well. So it'll appear on the history page and also in the history hub, letting you export your history and your browsing history as a CSV file. So that's quite a big major change that Microsoft is working on now in Edge Canary 117, as mentioned, um, on a controlled rollout. And just to put this all into perspective, if we head to our history hub, although I haven't received the feature, as mentioned, it will appear here in this little fly out menu um, that you'll be able to export browsing data. So those are just three changes, as mentioned, that Microsoft is testing in Edge Canary 117. And at this stage, it's not known if these will actually roll out to the stable version, but nonetheless, because they are appearing now in the preview version, there is a good chance that they may roll out one day to up and coming stable versions. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.